Hi everyone, my name is Adam. I'm the pastor at Ashbourne Elam Church. And in this Holy Week, as we prepare ourselves for Easter, we're taking just a couple of minutes out of each day to remind ourselves of one of the seven statements that Jesus made on the cross. Today we get to statement number five from Jesus on the cross. We see it in John 19, verse 28. John says, later, knowing that everything had now been finished, and so that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. On the first viewing here, we just see the humanity of Jesus. We see how he experienced the natural phenomenon that, that most people, certainly many people who were crucified would have had of knowing this extreme thirst. It was one of the symptoms of that death. But John tells us as he writes his gospel that, that this wasn't the reason that Jesus said he was thirsty. He said it in order for everything foretold in scripture, written hundreds of years before Jesus was born, hundreds of years before this moment, Jesus said it so that all of these things said about him would be fulfilled. In fact, in his lifetime, Jesus fulfilled over 300 Old Testament prophecies that were spoken about the coming of the Messiah. Many of these were fulfilled in this final week uh, and even in the final day of Jesus' life. But there was one still needing to be fulfilled. It's written in Psalm 69, uh, that Jesus would be given vinegar to drink. And I don't know about you, but, but sometimes my life feels a bit chaotic. Sometimes I feel like everything is happening around me and I have no control of any of it. And in these moments, sometimes I, I question God. I say, God, I, I feel like I'm not in control, but but is it possible that you're not even in control of this? Well, I guess here we see the chaos that surrounds Jesus. As people around him are casting lots and for the clothes off his back, as the criminals next to him are crying out in pain, as, as his mother and his friends are watching and, and weeping, right? This, this moment is not a peaceful moment. This is, this is a moment of chaos that surrounds. But here in this moment, in statement five, as Jesus says, very simply, I am thirsty. We see how God is still in perfect control of everything that happens. He ensures that everything that had to happen would happen. And I guess in this moment, in this moment of probably the greatest chaos, if God is in control of that moment, how much is he still in control today? How much can we understand peace in our hearts because we know that God is still in control of whatever your day holds today, whatever your week holds, whatever your year holds, we know a God that is still in control even when it feels like chaos surrounds us. So be blessed and have a great day.